Well, cheap ads are over for Facebook. And so what I wanted to do today is show you exactly how you can start raking in the dough with Facebook ads. Yep, it's still possible. Before I do, make sure you go to FunnelHackerPro.com. That's my Facebook group. Join up. I'll be putting up plenty of information there. A lot of people would pay to be in a group like this. That's Funnel Hacker Pro. Let's go. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, if this is your first time uh, here, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Make sure that you hit the notification button to get notified when I upload. Uh, I've been under the weather for the last three days, but I do upload every day. Um, so even though I did, I didn't. I am still doing it though. So um, make sure that you get notified and share this video if you know somebody that uh, would like the information. And also uh, click that thumbs up. Now, um, I want to talk about Facebook ads. It's always been or how to write ad copy for Facebook ads, and it's not really that difficult. Um, the main problem that people have is they're trying to do too much. So I'm going to do uh, a video later on uh, talking about uh, pro programmatic, uh, uh, programmatic uh, ad, um, ad networks. But uh, for now, we're just going to talk about uh, Facebook ads and Facebook ads are just display ads. And if you don't know what that is, just Google that, but they are display ads when it comes to, um, you being a media buyer and there's search traffic and search ads. Then there's also, um, video ads with YouTube. Um, and then there's like display ads and those were native ad networks and Facebook is nothing more than display ads and display ads where most people are making their biggest mistake. They aren't meant for conversions right away. And so what you have to realize is in the news feed, uh, and this is anywhere. I just want to make this clear. What I'm talking about here is the same thing goes with Google display ads. So let me give you an example. Have you ever been like on a website um, that you're on and you, you know, you're looking at one thing that might be talking about, let's just say uh, losing weight, but then there's a guy over on the side there talking about buy this uh, NFL baseball or NFL uh, hat fitted hat. Right. And so you look at that and you go, well, you know, why would this guy be trying to sell me a hat? And I'm on a weight loss um, page. Well, you've been targeted, right? And so, and that's what I'm talking about. So when people are in the news feed, they're not looking for your shit, right? So, and the best way to think about that is when you have search-based uh, uh, ads, that's intent. They're searching for what it is that they're looking for, what you have. So let's just say, um, and they're using search-based intent search intent, um, language. So, um, like a, uh, TV. So let's just say a Samsung plasma TV review, um, or how much is it for the price? That type of thing. Those are all based on like, okay, I'm searching for this more than likely I'm in the market for this. And those, why those, that's why those ads are more expensive because these people are ready to make, make a move and ready to pay for something. But display ads are different they're not relevant, right? So with a search, when in other words, when somebody's searching for a Samsung TV and then you see a Sony TV there as well, that's relevant because they're looking for a Samsung, but they could be also say, okay, I'd like to deal with a Sony. Us on the other hand with Facebook ads, okay? Uh, we're putting ads over here on the sidebar. We're putting ads right here inside the actual news feed. Uh, we're putting ads in a messenger, but none of this is relevant. Okay. So that's the one thing that you need to know first off the rip is that nothing that you do on Facebook ad or any display ad in general is relevant. It's all irrelevant. They're not looking and there's no intent. They didn't search for your product. They're not physically looking for your product right now. So there is no relevance. The next thing that the, 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 the one word that I want you to uh, get in your head right now, and let's just change the color. Nancy always says I don't change colors enough, right? 
So the one word that I want to get in your head right now is news. So uh, almost everybody, uh, a little, a little bit, almost nobody gets news from the actual news outlets anymore. Everybody is getting their news from Facebook, social media general, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and um, Instagram, right? That's kind of where, and even Snapchat, that's kind of where they're getting their news. So you being newsy and, sh- you know, looking like it's something that you shared is really important, right? That's that's kind of like the number one thing that you want to understand. This is called the news feed, right? This whole thing is called the news feed. So you want to realize that you want to sound newsy. So, uh, you know, and back in the day when ads were real cheap and you had a lot of e-com dudes, and I'm going to do a separate video for e-commerce, but a lot of dudes were just like, hey, man, buy my shit. And they tried several products and they kind of just kind of threw shit up against the wall and some things worked and some things didn't work. And that whole business model is really shitty. But now, especially since Facebook ads are really expensive now, um, it, they're not cheap like they used to be. And so now everything is kind of leveled out to where it used to be until we get another network. And I can tell you now, just as a little secret. You need to be looking for Amazon. Amazon is about to come out with their own ad network, and that will be the wild, wild west again. But until we have a new network like that, right, Amazon is going to be huge when they decide to come out with it. Um, But right now, until that comes out, there's no more wild, wild west. You just kind of need to advertise like normal. And so what does that mean? Uh, Facebook ads and any display ad network is a long game. Is not a short-term game. So search-based, uh, search intent, search-based ad networks like Yahoo or Bing or Google ads or Google um, search ads are all like right now direct-type marketing. Um, you know, somebody searching for dog beds and you show your dog beds or whatever, get it for 50% off, blah, blah, blah. Those little ads or whatever, that's like a right now thing. Get them to the website. But display ads, and the reason why I'm doing this uh, so slow, and so you understand, display ads, and that's what Facebook ads are, are not right now. They're a long game. So your name, your main thing, and number the number two, the number the number three thing or number two thing I want to tell you about right now is retargeting. Okay, this is where your money is is retargeting, and that's how you're gonna warm your audience up. And so that's the number three thing is your temperature. I'm gonna just put temp here. All right, and that's those the three things that you need to realize. You need to be newsy. You need to realize that it's a retargeting game. It's a long, it's a long, it's a long game, and you need to realize the temperature of the people that you're dealing with. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. So let's let's talk about temperature for a moment. I should be able to. So let's just talk about temperature for a moment here. Okay. And so the easiest way uh, to write ads and get people's attention, you don't even have to do a lot of talking. And this is why, this is what I'm getting to. You don't have to be the hottest copywriter on the planet to, 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 work, to work this program. If you have a hot audience, you can say anything because they're looking at you. They know who you are. They know what products you have. You can just put a price out there and, they're going to say, okay, cool. Either I want it or I don't. And that's fine. And they'll convert a medium or a warm type of, uh, audience, um, is not so, you know, they're not so hot. They want a little bit more information or whatever. And this is the, the, this is easy. Okay. And the difficulty on this is, uh, it's kind of like a medium difficulty. Let's just do that for lack of a better word, right? Just kind of like a, it's a little bit harder. And a cold audience is the hardest. Let's just skip to the chase here. All right, so that's the hardest people to convert. People that don't know who you are, they don't know anything about your product, they don't even realize that they need your product, and you're trying to flip them right now. If you've never been in, like, if you've never been into media buying, if this is your first time, if you're even on this video, you don't need to try to say, buy my shit right now. And you don't need to even like a medium warm audience. You want to warm your audience up first. And what you need to realize is that when you're doing that, you are in effect buying data. Okay. And that's the the next thing that I want you guys to understand you need to purchase data. This is a normal thing. This is something that happens 
in business and has been for years upon years, you need to purchase data first. So unless you already have an audience, if you don't have one, you need to purchase the data first. And how you're going to do that is you're going to send out just for lack of a better word feelers. So let's look at the funnel really quickly. And this makes your ad, your copywriting a lot easier. So when you want to sound newsy, you want to call the people out. So you can just say attention uh, marketers. Okay. And then so new ad platform promises, you know, 100% or 1000% uh, ROI. That's newsy. Do you see that? That's newsy. That's like, what? And then you have a picture here with, you know, a graph or something like that. And that's curiosity, like what ad net network is that? And that's newsy, right? So you want to have headlines that are um, in like kind of sounds. Um, I can't think of the name right now. I'm having a brain fart, but I thought about it before. Oh, editorial. That's the name that I, that made me think like, okay, when somebody heard somebody say that, it needs to be editorial. So look at your newspapers, look at the front page headlines, um, and look at CNN, look at Fox News, and look at their headlines and try to figure out how can you make your headlines look newsy, and you want to take people to an article uh, that is just informational, okay, or a video, all right? So let's just look at the, the funnel to warm up your customers. And that's easy, right? So you don't have to have good copywriting for that, but let's take a look at the funnel. Let's go right now. The first thing I want you to do is send out that news headline. And then you're going to make, uh, 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 you're going to target people. Let's just say it's a video. And you're going to target people that looked at 50% of that video, right? And then that video said, uh, look at this ad network. And it was a quick video, one minute video. Nobody's watching video on Facebook anymore. So it needs to be a quick one minute, one minute, 30 second at maximum uh, video uh, talking about this new ad network that's going to change the nation, right? And now you want to talk about, like, let's just say, for instance, you're selling some type of services or something like that. It doesn't matter what it is. And then as long as it's congruent to what you have going on. So like, let's just say, for instance, you have an e-commerce. I'm going to talk about e-commerce on a different video, but how can uh, you sell your service like the e-commerce? So um, there's a this one product um, on e-commerce. Uh, it's a wine filter. And this filter stops you from getting headaches and all kind of the benefits, but you filter out your wine first. What's really weird is I see, I've seen this in like old movies and stuff. It's like a big thing back in the day. So, so anyways, uh, you can just say, uh, uh, did you know that wine, you know, attention, uh, wine drinkers or connoisseurs or whatever, um, new study reveals, uh, wine causes headaches for people that drink wine. That's very interesting, right? So now you 50% of the people that watch that video, the next thing you want to do is have another video talking about another uh, symptom or whatever you have of that same thing, but kind of pointing more towards a product, right? So new company promises, and you want to target 50 more percent of those people, new company promises um, fix for uh, headaches caused by uh, wine consumption or something like that. I'm just riffing right now, right? Another video, maybe two minutes long, and you catch 50% of those people that watch that video. Now, these people are really interested because they watch this video, then they watch this video. They are really interested now. Now is when you hit them with new product, um, attention wine, maker, new product or new, uh, new development shows that this wine filter, blah, 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 blah. It's all newsy all editorial, excuse me. So you just want to make sure, but these people, it doesn't matter what you say at this point. If you notice, I'm not really, I'm not really concentrating on the copywriting, right? I'm not concentrating on that. 
What I'm concentrating on is the actual method on how I talk to the people. And that's where people get it twisted. Now, don't get me wrong. You do have to do some copywriting once you get to the sales page. But what I want you to understand is that Facebook ads are not that complicated if you warm the audience up. If you target people, if you have to start off with interest-based targeting, they don't know who you are, okay? If you have to start off with interest-based targeting, they don't know who you are. They don't give a shit who you are. So you have to find out everybody that's in your audience who gives a shit. So you have to kind of filter out the people that don't give a shit here, okay? Now, what's really cool is that once you have these audiences of people that watch this 50%, then you make lookalike audiences of both these audiences and the people that actually go to your page, you make a lookalike audience of that. And the people that actually purchase, you make a lookalike audience of that. And now you don't have to do any interest based anymore. Now you've got millions of people that you can run these same, the same, this is all automated. All you have to do is just keep doing the same thing over and over and over again. Now, in order for me to um, really make you understand how to do this, I can refer you to a video that I had before, um, but you need to, uh, they're called angles, and you need to pick the right angles on how to target these people for different things. I'll come up with another video for that in this series of videos. I've been doing a lot of series of videos and e-commerce will be next, and I'll talk about the, the, the angles in the next video. But what I wanted to do was, first of all, show you how you should position your funnels, and the copywriting does not matter as much, okay? So, um, and I noticed in another video that I watched that people were asking for examples. In the next video, I will show you examples on how this works so you can understand how it works. I know not having something physical to look at is kind of discouraging, but what I want to let you know is that you in this video here, as long as it sounds editorial and newsy, you don't have to really worry so much about the copywriting because you just want people to look at the article, right? So, uh, you know, uh, attention, new video reveals, um, like I said, um, uh, drinking certain types of wine causes headaches. And that's a really good, like, that's enough. That's all you need to do. As long as it sounds editorial and it doesn't sound like you're trying to be clickbaity and, and you do, and you deliver what it is that you said. So they don't have to click off and they're just watching a video, tell them to click the thumbs up. Well, you can't do it. You can do actually do it in a video to click the thumbs up or whatever, try to get some reactions or whatnot. And then, you know, then you gather those people. If you're just buying data here, right? So just getting video views and stuff, you're just buying data and you're trying to find out, you know, who's really interested in your product. The second video is going to be the same thing. It's just going to be a little bit closer to what it is that you want to solve, you know, how not to get headaches, right? So this video could be how wine causes headaches. This video could be 10 steps to take to, 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 um, actually like, um, what you can do to your wine without using the filter and it like things that are kind of like outlandish to do or whatever to not get headaches when you drink your wine, like, um, I don't know, sticking the cork with a needle or, you know, taking aspirin before you drink wine or whatever the case may be. Make sure you eat before you start drinking and whatever the case may be, you can have 10 suggestions and that could be actual click through to actually go to a website and get these, those things The people that are interested in actually click out. Now we know that they're interested and that's how you need to do that. And it doesn't matter. If you notice, I'm not focusing on the copywriting here. It doesn't matter. Just the most important thing is, is that you make it newsy. <laughs> the second thing is, is that you make it a short video, or whatever, and you actually go through this entire process. Okay. And so now we know these people, excuse me, we know these people are really interested. We filter them out. Now we don't have to deal with this interest space target anymore. And now we can actually sell them something. So this is the actual uh, sales pitch right here. Okay. This is the only way you should be running any ads on any network, any AdWord network. Now, when I'm saying this, I mean, this is goes for Google display ads. Um, if you're going to do deal with Google display ads, right, it's kind of the same thing. Um, with Google display ads, you don't want to just go out and say, buy my shit. Um, what you want to do is kind of like get them for a lead magnet first. Okay. 
and, you know, find out how you can or take a survey or a quiz or something like that. Right. You always want to start off like that. And another thing we'll talk about in another video, and I know a lot of people are going to ask about is advertorials. Um, advertorials work. And what I want to say before I leave is that if you're saying to yourself that you don't have enough money to do this, and I know you're saying that number one is you need to get enough money for advertising. That's number one. Number two is you don't have enough money not to do this because you're going to sit out a bunch of ads saying, just buy my shit with one ad and you're not going to convert. Here, you're purchasing the data and you're going to have to purchase data. Here, you're purchasing the data and you're going to be able to find out who exactly you need to target, number one. And at the end, it pays off. It pays off right here. And overall, this system will work better than you just trying to guess at what people want to see, worried about the images. The images and the copy become less important if you do this system, okay? So anyways, this is how you're gonna start making powerful ads that will convert by actually using a system and a formula. If you're interested in more videos like this, man, comment below, let me know you wanna know more about Facebook ad copy. Um, I'm gonna do a video about e-commerce on the next one, how to do e-commerce ads and what I think you should do. If you know somebody that, think, that you think would enjoy this video, share this video, click the thumbs up if you like it, if you didn't, I mean, damn, click the thumbs down, let me know that too. And as always, man, whatever you do, you're gonna have to study this, you got to do it on a daily basis, man. You can't do this every once in a while. It's gonna have to be every day. Get your day started, no excuses, no explanations. Let's go get it done.